Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the worst mistake Magic has ever made. And possibly the, this is a repeat offense here. But before that, I will have a link in the description and in comment sections up on a video about my life. A lot of you want to know more about it. So I do produce videos on my other personal blog channel. So you can follow me there. But let's focus on this card. So Wizard of Coast is very, they are all over the place. They're not worried about marketing. The marketing is actually quite bad. They're not worried about demographic targeting. They honestly do not care about their main demographic, which is proven time and time again to be white males. As you can see from this image, there's not many of the major, main demographic here of card games. They have a 2.8 rating, which is quite low for uh, someone who produces card games that should be enjoyed. So with that being said, what can this company do that is so bad and so repulsive and so just insanely dumb that they haven't already done? And the answer is actually one card. Now the card is very special because you can only get it from buy a box. That means you cannot get it from Walmart. That means you cannot get it from pulling a booster pack. Now let me repeat that again. It's a buy a box promo that the only way you can get this is if you buy a booster back box from a local game store. You will not be able to pull one of these from your box or a blister pack or a Walmart or a Target, etc. So what are local game stores gonna do with this card? Put it on eBay, put all their copies on eBay, and suddenly you have a card that is $40, half the price of a box. And before you guys say, oh, no one's buying it at this price. No, I have evidence people are buying at 30 plus dollars. So we have Nexus of Fate. Why this card is so good, it's an instant and it doesn't remove itself. Those are two very unique attributes about taking the extra turn. Uh, it being an instant is very important because you can search for instants, right? It's another, it's an easier search category than sorcery, which most of these time walks are. Plus, it goes back in your library. So if we look at the last line or the last sentence, that's a very, very powerful line for something that allows you to take extra turns. So this card will be EDH playable. It will be highly desirable for playability sake and no one's gonna get it. So currently the paper version on Goldfish is $34 and it is going up in price. You can see that the pre-sale was $135.99 and you might be like, no one would possibly buy this card at $40. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna show you that they are buying it. And so who has so many copies? All these people have 16 to 20 copies of them listed and they're not selling the booster box with it. These are stores who are encouraged to behave in this manner because Wizard of Coast doesn't realize that they can put the promo in the box. This is not a new concept. Uh, Cardfight Vanguard does it. Other card games put the promo in the box and they do so because they care about the player. Here, we're just getting fleeced over and over again. So no one benefits from this relationship. So let's say we have this very desirable promo and the only way you can get it is if you go to a local game store. The local game store can sell this promo for $40 or half the cost of the box. The local game store has no incentive to give you these promos. They have none. They're, they're literally $40 bills, right? Like it's insane. And now a, a new player is like, oh, hey, I want to go in and get this really cool, or not even new player, old player, any player. And they realize that the store is doing this. And now they're not going to look favorably about on that store. So if you are a store, it's a tough decision. Do you take an extra $800? Or do you give it out to your player base? We will see. But at least as of this recording, 
a place that has sold, has sold, that's the key word, for $135.99. This person has four play sets on sale and then some other singles, like of Nexus. Do you believe this person is a store that sold boxes and had this left over? No. Boxes are not even out yet. This got person is selling promos without boxes. So therefore, once these promos are all sold, which they are being sell, sold for $40, what happens then? Do you think their local players, if they have any, are going to be happy about this? No. And this is the cycle of sales. So apparently these promos have already been sent out because on eBay, if you do a search, you're going to find tons of them, just tons and tons. So first of all, they have sold. Secondly, it's a disgusting practice that Wizard of the Coast forces onto the stores for survival. Instead of making really great products, Wizard of the Coast has decided, hey, let's make these stores. I honestly think that they're doing this to make the stores look bad. So they can move into Walmart, Target, and, quote, GameStop. You, you're in a bad position. Do you take the $800 as a store that you really need to pay rent? Or do you give these to your players? We will see. But as of now, many people who have received these, I've put them all online. And I know for a fact they haven't sold anything because boxes are not out yet. These are not leftover promos. These are promos we just got in the mail today. Let's throw them on eBay. And it's not like they don't know what they are worth. These are people with knowledge. And these people are taking the system and abusing it. But the system is broken. So that is the danger of these buy a box promos is no one's happy. The player's not happy to pay $40 for this. The game store either looks like a villain or they're not happy giving out $40 cards. And most importantly, and this is something that, you know, I want you guys to take away from this video. Wizard of Coast has a very big team. They have teams of marketing. They have teams of testing. They have people who should know this is not the buy a box promo that can only be obtained via buy a box is not a good idea. They had this concept. This is not the first time they made this mistake. And you might pick, oh, well, the last time, it's the same cycle. No, I'm talking about the dragon at Dragon Con 10, 15, 15 years ago. People left the game over that dragon promo. That the only way you could get it was if you actually traveled to Dragon Con. They learned nothing since that time. Because everyone of their whole marketing team, their whole department is doing just ridiculous marketing tactics right now. They don't care about the main core demographics, which is, has been proven to be white males. If you look at any of their social media, you would think that like this is a game like, like you would think that no white males would even want to play this game. You would think, oh, well, it's only 10% white males. I guess this is not really for uh, white males, right? Like, honestly... This is a terrible concept that they should know, understand is bad. I'm not blaming the flame something from the last set. I'm blaming the fact they knew 15 years ago of that dragon that when you make something very exclusive, people are going to get angry. And that card is going to get very pricey very fast. The dragon, the Healy dragon, it was terrible. It was the worst dragon I've ever seen. Yet it was $100, $500 because the only way you could get it was at Dragon Con. You physically had to fly to a convention. So if you lived outside the U.S., no way you're getting it. They make the same mistakes over and over again. It's because they don't have a quality insurance. So you talk about the leaks. If they had quality assurance, what other company has as many leaks as this company? Like, seriously, if your company is all about you know, if spoiling cards at your company is important to you, how does a person walk out with all the mythics and rares and foil and one giant sheet paper? Like no one, 
like stopped him. Like I find that like hilarious, but also like very sad. And the marketing department, just look at their social media. Like you wouldn't believe that a white male would want to play this game. Like from the social media, I'm dead serious. I looked at it and I was like, if I didn't play magic, I would think that this was like, um, I don't know. I, I, I would think that this was something that was more like maybe, okay, I'll just stop there. But you guys can fill in the blank. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, bye guys.